What is up, people? Welcome back to FTB Continuum. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And today, we're going wireless. N not a... Just, just power wireless. It is because I'm tired of placing cables everywhere, so I thought, why not use flux core? It's expensive, uh, I'll be honest. But bam, 64. Oh yeah, do, do I really have more plutonium? Yeah, okay. Link 16, it could make four more. But let's just leave it at 64. So there's a couple of things we need to do, and we need to have those flux block. Because we need to have a flux point, so for removing energy from the flux network, and we need adding energy. So we're gonna have one for adding, and we're gonna have a plenty for other stuff. And we also need a controller. So that means five, six blocks like this. So uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and everything else, we need one of these. And then we're going to need, let's do like six of these for the moment. How many do I have left? Flux, core, I've got eight left. Uh, my issue is that I need more plutonium. And yes, I've got the old school bees that you guys don't have that have no recipe. Uh, because you guys have the new one. Uh, Blutonium. These ones that need to have the block. And I don't. But uh, I'm to the point where I think I can make actual pieces for the reactor, so I could have them if I wanted to. But, yeah, cyanide. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have cyanide. Cyanide, 217. Eh, that's bad. That's bad. One, two. So we, we need to smelt this and then eight is gonna give one? Yeah, eight gives one. Yeah, no. No, uh, I think I'm just gonna put them back in there. And maybe we're just gonna put some upgrades into the plutonium one so that it gives me uh, these things faster. But uh, one thing that I can say is currently I'm alone on the server and the lag seems to be gone is because we remove the chunk load when people are not online. So that is pretty cool. Uh, I do need to make a couple of those machines, and this is kind of why I wanted to have the wireless stuff set up. It is because uh, when we're going to be at the top, well, I'm going to put the machines over here and over there. And, well, they kind of need to be connected somehow. But I don't want to pass, like, cables all the way around. I think it's going to be too much. So these things are going to be perfect for this. But I've also found out something. So the time... Temporal B does not do well with multi-block structure. So what I did here is I've got this thing here marked. It is where the temporal B stops its power. So I'm going to start making my multi-block on this side. And well over there, if it's after this here, it's fine. So just take that in account when you have your B. Uh, make sure you don't use it on multi-block structure, it will cause a little bit of a problem. Also, currently there is an issue with the EFAB having multiple crafting grids. So just uh, remove your extra crafting grid, just keep one. Uh, it is better for you and it is better for your server or anything like that. Over here, we've got 32,731. And over here, I was actually trying to do some upgrades, which I never finished. But uh, yeah, uh, the issue that we're having at the moment is these take 64 GP with one upgrade. It's ridiculous. And with the ones at the bottom, I can't really do much. And the Dragon Egg, uh, if we look mill, the Dragon Egg mill is removed. The only one you can make is the Creative Mill, and then you, can, you need to use these here. So I'm gonna have to use some of this, so I was kind of trying to get some helium. But this thing, I think there's an issue. Uh, if we look here, it takes 1,250 seconds. Uh, we did talk to Modmas, I believe, Modmas, Modmas, that uh, actually does TR, and uh, he said that it is an issue and he's going to look into it. First time making a TNT cart. 
Yeah, it's not something you normally do. Uh, so, all right, let's make the controller. And one other thing we're going to need to do is the flux ducts like this. So we need to make this one. So how much hardened do I have? Bam, 24. I used all of it. That wasn't supposed to use all of it, but uh, do I have jelly crowd here? I don't know why my voice went like this. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, this thing is Ethereum, so let's remove this. I should have... Yeah, it's right there. Right here, I have eight buckets. That is not enough. So let's do Krautium here. I've got like plenty, so that shouldn't be an issue. And... So we're gonna put that over here. And I'm really tired of having to place this, so we're going to change it for a liquid duct. Well, a fluid duct. So, hardened fluid duct and a servo. And this thing's not going to go away every time I try to do something different. So, this thing here, you can start making this. I still haven't made any upgrade for these machines. Uh, because, well, for me, it's not set up properly. So, we, we still need to wait a little bit. So, Alright, we're going to put this thing in there. Perfect. It's going to give us these, which are infinite RF capacity. So what I'm going to do is mainly going to place a bunch of bees. I was thinking this wall, but there's stuff over there. So maybe this wall? Uh, there's stuff over there as well. Uh, maybe we're, we're going to put it somewhere else. I don't know exactly, but I want to put like a bunch of bees. And the bees are going to send everything into the flux plug. And then the flux plug is going to uh, simply send it to the flux point. This is pretty much the way things are going to go. All right, we've got 19. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, the only thing is I don't have anything to change the side. I'll have to, like, remove this... Uh, but as long as I don't have to uh, just remove the cable, it's fine. So there we go, we've got 24. Uh, let's remove this, place it the other way around. There we go, now it's going back in there. And well, we're, we're going to let this finish and it's going to give us a little bit of things and stuff uh, that we might need. So, alright, we've got this. Do I have some apiaries? I do not. Uh, let me guess I can make make some. Yeah. So four in here should have nothing in here. All right, that, that's good. That's good. We're going to need also some upgrades. Well, luckily, I've got some of that. And pretty much this. Okay, the only thing I did not think about is that I also need to have automation upgrades. And this is more than I can fit into here. So that was a stupid move. Uh, let's see, can I make more of these? I need more of that, of course. Uh, a bucket. Wrapped 16. It's probably going to be too many for our inventory. But uh, we're, we're going to put some upgrades into our thing over there. But we know it's a glitch, so it should be fixed eventually. Uh, do not worry. So let's be intelligent about this and let's do this. There we go. Perfect. I could have also placed the upgrades on top of each other. And that should have also worked. This is one thing I actually hate, the fact that you need to redo this every time. Because it leaves the old bucket in there. Alright, let's do 12. There we go. There we go, we got 4. Let's go place that over there. It, it's gonna give it a little bit of a boost. It's not gonna be super efficient as this thing is glitched can see this thing is super slow, but uh, at least we're going to get a little bit of helium. I got one since I think it's been there for three minutes. If I'm, you can guys, you guys can make the calculation at 20, 20, uh, 1250 seconds. How long does it take to make one helium? A lot. That's the answer. So, all right, let's take this. I think I have a B here at the top. Maybe, hmm, I'm thinking maybe we should, 
I was thinking maybe here putting the bees, but nah, nah, it's gonna look bad. So, oh, I also need to make some power relays. This thing needs some of this. All right, so this thing, pretty much what it's going to do is we're gonna have one power relay for each of them. It's because these make 48,000, I believe. Well, let's see, bam. It should give it power, but it's not. <laughs> Oops. Bam. It's not actually storing anything. Okay, okay. Um, let's put these things... I don't know where to put this. It's not a bee stuff, so I don't want it here at the top. So, I think I'm going to place it here, removing this thing that, like, is just there because it can be. All right, let's uh, move this thing in there, this thing in there. I can teleport. All right, so please select the network. We're gonna need to create a new one. So it's gonna be Kraken's network. It's on private. It is perfect with the way it is. Transfer limit, can I move that up? Like 512,000 million? Send. Default. All right. I think that's going to be good. Let's get up there. All right, and we're just going to test this over here. So adding energy to the system. So let's put that there. All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they added this thing, but let's do this. And it's not inputting anything. Seriously? This thing is on output on every side. This thing is outputting power. So can this thing not output to one of those cryostable stuff? That would be so stupid. So, so, so stupid. But it should work. It works with everything else. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it can't, it can't output to the block. Wow, this is stupid. So stupid. Why? Look, look, let, let's grab Flux. Let's grab these, but these can only do 25,000. Flux. All right. This one works. And then it doesn't stand there. Huh. I don't understand. As no residual transfer amount is per connection. I don't understand. This thing should work. Should connect it to something that generates power other than like that. Did I break something? Okay, here. <laughs> it's still not doing anything. This thing? Um, I think something's broken. I can't use my cables. What is wrong with this thing? Um, all right, guys, well, let me look into this because we kind of need those cables. This is just ridiculous. All right, guys, well, I kind of figured it out. I think I did. Uh, so what happens is uh, I did remove things. I connected this here to be able to see, and it just doesn't show that there's power when you're looking at it. But there is. So we're good to go on that end. And I've also made 10 industrial apiaries, 10 power relays. We've got the cryostabilized flux duct. We've got the flux plug. We've got the flux points. We've got pretty much everything we need. We've got crazy amount of upgrades. So I did also found where I was going to place this. So I was talking about putting it on the wall over here. I'm going to do that. Just because, well, we can. Uh, there's one thing I did not check. We do have this. 
And yes, I did forget one thing we needed to bring. Uh, let's go item duct. And I need a little bit of those. So, all right, we're going to go on the other side. And what's going to happen is we're going to have, well, actually, we need to do this from the other side. Uh, we're going to put these at the top. Like so. I think my sound is low. Yeah, I did lower it earlier because I was working at the bottom and the crusher were too much for me. Uh, and then we're going to place these under there. All right. And then, of course, there's the tent one, which is an actual one uh, with this one already. So uh, this thing, let's just do this. Like so. All right. So now this thing has power. It's also powering this one. So this one's going to power this one. It's going to power this one. It's going to power this one. It's going to power this one. And, you know, all the way to the end. So the next thing we need to do is in the back, uh, we need to run a line of these. All right. And over here, we're going to have a retriever with princess in this. So let's put that there. It's going to be on blacklist, ignoring the NBT data. And we're going to have this thing here. So these things should be getting out when I activate this thing. And there we go. So over here now, I pretty much need to place all of the upgrades. So how did I do it here? So it's automation first. I, I like when things are symmetrical. So I do it exactly the same way everywhere. There we go. This one, that one. This one, that one. This one and that one. This one and that one. This one and that one. And this one and that one. So over here we've got 10 bees. And... I, if I remember correctly, it's 48,000 for each of them. So that's 480,000 RF a tick. I think we'll be good. I'm just thinking that we'll be good. Uh, I should have connected this uh, in the back as well while we're here. Uh, we're we're going to do the, the setup of these things just after. But there we go and let's put the flux plug there well actually we're gonna put the flux plug on the outside uh because i've been told that sometimes the flux plug just like break so we're gonna do it that it's visible for us just right here so flux plug for adding energy going to be here we're gonna send that there and this thing here, we're going to remove limit because we want it to be able to actually send more than 256,000. I'm going to put this at 512 just to make sure. 512,000. There we go. So that thing should be able to send everything that we need. Uh, the next thing we need to do... Oh, look, we've got 32 helium cells. Great. I'll be able to make some of that, to be able to make some of that, to make lava mills. That's pretty much the only reason I'm doing this. Uh, but yeah, so now I need to make the bees, and this is like easy bees knees. So, if we come at the top over here, I did go and I grabbed like a bunch of princesses. So, I don't know how many I have. I hope I have enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Dang it. If you get eight, I need nine. <laughs> Do I have a bee that I can just grab? Probably a bee in here that I don't need. Like an usual queen. Or a rocky princess. A masson. I try to keep the, the, the big ones. But like a rocky? Let's be honest. I can get that quite easily if I ever need something like this again. But there we go. We've got 10 bees. Over here we can simply grab a stack of this one. 
place that in there and we're going to do the same thing that I've done all this time. And it's you place in there, you grab your BB gun all the way to the assassin princess and you kill it. And then you drop this thing on the ground because you don't want it. So you place it there until it's fully the same bee. So I'm going to do this for the 10 bees and I'll bring you guys back just after. Here you go. Everything's connected. The whole shebang, except that these things are not done yet. So I need to do one, 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 indefinitely because I've got to do this 50 times. Well, actually 45 times. And now it's more like 35, but yeah, you guys get the point. This thing now produces a crazy amount of power. It is quite nice. I do like this, the fact that we've got crazy amount of power. And if we ever want to put more, when well, we can do that as well, just by adding more of these to the wall. I can also probably put a second line at the top, or something of the sort. Uh, did I do this one? No, did I do this one? Yes, but I did not do this side. Oop. All right. So this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, what I did is I started on this side and the bee started like making the other ones work because while well, it had powered on the right, but it didn't have power on the left. So it just powered from one bee to the next. And I think this is the way things should be. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we're almost there with all the power in the world. Okay, maybe not in the world. Uh, this thing does have a million, but it's still not a crazy, crazy amount. Well, it is. It is. Let's be honest. It is a crazy amount. So the next thing we kind of want to do today is I need to make at least one machine. This is good, but this is this is old school. This is this is stuff we've already made in the past. So we we need to make something better. All right, let's do this. Bam, bam, and bam. All of them are connected to that tiny thing here. Let, let's see, do I have a cover just so that it looks even better? Let's see, so, uh, cover? Oh yeah, we do. That is what I'm talking about. At the same time, I'm gonna place one here at the bottom. So can I do, bam, nice. And bam, there we go. It looks freaking amazing. Gotta love this thing. So all of them are fully operational with all the upgrades the upgraded b as well and now we don't have a problem with power we, we do have bees a little bit everywhere as well so we could replace those if we wanted or we could keep them it's pretty much up to us at this point so what do i want to do well if we look at the quest i was thinking that here there's a bunch of quest I forgot that I finished this one let's see silver it's actually better than 16 carats I can't complain about that there's one thing we do need because if you remember we were looking into making in the efab category the power optimizer and the power optimizer needs the mass detector which needs the optical sensor which needs the silicon wafer which needs the silicon bowl which needs silicon, which that, that we kind of have. So, yes, so we should be good for this, but we need a cutting machine and we need a crystallizer. I believe this is the two things we need. Was there something else? The warp core, yes, there's the advent circuit. So we need the advent, so we need a precision assembler as well. So we really need, let's look into making the cutting machine. So cutting machine first. Cutting machine. What do we need? Okay, we need one of these, which uh, this is easy to make. Uh, let's make like a couple because I know we need some of that. And I've got 45,000 glass, so it shouldn't be an issue. There we go. We need some of that. And we need some of that. Perfect. There we go. We've got the machine, the cutting machine. 
So now we're going to need to uh, do this thing. What is it called? Holo projector. So projector. There it is. And let's see what we need for the cutting machine. Okay. Trying to see, do you, do you need, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, all right, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to, like I said, put those up top here. So let's see, I think I want to place it facing this way. I think this is it. Uh, okay, maybe, well, let's do that and let's do, bam. No, one more, one more, bam. Mm, yeah, it gives place and we, we will have some place. So perfect. So we need saw blade assembly, saw blade assembly. Where is that? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's, let's go make a couple of these and should be quite easy, I think. Okay, so saw blade assembly. Got the saw, got a saw blade assembly. Is there more? Can, can you do, no, okay. Uh, the next thing we need, well, let's do this. So we need input hatch, output hatch, the machine, and a power input with a coil, with a motor, motor, not motor, it's motor. All right, again, we're gonna go for the, the crazy one just because we can. So this is iridium plate. All right, so let's do uh, 64 iridium plate just because we can, since I know we're probably going to need some. Uh, let's take this thing, put it on timeless. And let's have fun with this thing. <laughs> it's so cool, seeing how fast it gets. All right. This machine will also be moving at the top as it is related to uh, the same mod, so. That is something to think about. And of course we need two titanium coils. So let's make like eight because I know we'll need more. So there we go, we've got the elite. And now we need an input hatch and an output hatch and a power input plug. So power input plug. Okay, we need to make this. There we go, we got 12. Should give us a little bit. All right, let's do input hatch. There we go. And an output hatch as well. All right, I think we're good to go. This is what they say it needs. So I'm not sure I actually need to look at how you make it. So I want it to be, hmm. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave two blocks in the back. So here, output on the right, input on the left, power in the back, motor pointing in, and the saw blade right there. And then you right click this thing and there you have it. This thing looks pretty cool. So now we need to connect power to it, which is where these things come in. Because that means I do not need... Oh yeah, I should... Like I said before, there is an issue sometimes that like they disconnect. So I'm gonna make them visible. So over here, we're gonna connect it there and it's going to output. As you can see, it's already full of power and we've got stuff that we can make with it. So this is it, we've made the cutting machine. Oh yeah, let's claim this, let's see what we get. Refined iron, that's good loot. That's good loot, even though it's quite quick. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still don't know how to remove these. C can I do this? No, it's still gonna be there. All right, so let's see, can we make another one? So we needed, again, to, let's see what we needed. Here, we got the cutting machine. We need a pre precision assembler. We need also the cutting machine again. This thing comes here, or this, cutting machine. So we need a precision assembler. I know this one is ridiculously big. 
Uh, let's do machine structure. I got 11, so I know I need more. So let's do 64 of these. I don't actually know how many I'm going to need, so let's put that in there. It needs 96 GP as well. Dang, this is expensive. Let's speed it up. Oh, wait, it's true. It's not working. Holy moly, I can't, I can't use an upgrade. Because I don't have enough. Wow. That is a little bit insane. Let's see, can, can I make a little bit more GP? That, that's going to be a good thing, I think, if we can do that. So, alright, let's do this. Bam, all of them. Then we go there. Then we go there. Then we go there. Okay, I need more stone burnt, so... Polished stone. I don't have any polished stone. It's not hard to make. Oh, but I only have one of these. It's kind of an issue. Hmm. Well, let's do this one first. Let's put the upgrade in there. I should have way more upgrade than this. Uh, I don't have anything on me. Probably in my system over here. So the thing that happens is we don't have a good way of creating. Normally you would have the dragon egg to make GP easily, but there's no dragon egg for this mod pack. So you got to work with the small ones. Uh, but let's do upgrade. Let's do 16. That, that's going to be way too much. I don't think I'm going to be able to place 16 in there. But uh, yeah, that's 136. 72 is able to do it. There we go. Uh, I still think that the gun doesn't work on there. Oh, maybe it does. <laughs> yeah, look at how quick this thing's going. Yeah, th this thing's working with the gun. There you go, 64. Let's see how fast it goes when I just do the gun. Oops, I clicked. There you go, 40 done. <laughs> and 64. All right, let's put this back. And of course, we can't use any upgrades, but uh, eh, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. <laughs> so, all right, we've got these. I can make, what, two? Yeah, I can make two, but I need iridium gear. So again, we're going to grab iridium. And this time we're going to go at the bottom instead. I still believe it's faster if I go on foot. And zoom. Over here, this thing is only set up to make uh, these, since the plates, I just make them at the top instead. Uh, there's also a speed beep, but like I said before, this is the block you need to click if you want to speed things up. And it does work. Alright, 16 should be enough. Perfect, let's go back to the top by using this and we're gonna see if it's faster. Two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Around twelve seconds. So it isn't bad, but it isn't good either. Let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. Boom. And that is one. That is two. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can make. Uh, we're also going to need lava. Well, give me buckets. I do have lava. So we're going to need quite some. Oh, I didn't even know there was a quest with this thing. Uh, let's go over here. Where's my lava? Lava's over here. One, two, three. Start with this. So the advantage of having the lava generator is that you can actually uh, use uh, a smaller grid. This one needs to be done like that, but the lava one needs to have some on each side but it needs to be the source so that means that you uh let's just uh, let's make this here that that means that you you don't need to have a block in the middle so you just need the source there i believe we're, we're gonna test this uh, i might be wrong here i'm trying not to uh, burn everything to the ground all right so we're gonna try this if I place that there, it's generating two, so I might be wrong. Let's try placing it there. 
three. Oh wow, it needs to be what three blocks away? Two. Huh? I don't understand. Okay, let's try another one. It's not even generating anything. Huh. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Let's try to do this. Generating three. So how come I can't generate four? And wait, it does not generate more from each side. What if I put two source? One here. One there. No, still not working. Um, this is weird. It says that it's supposed to generate four. So if we go lava mill, it says power given four prop operates adjacent to lava. So it should work. Let's try to do something a little bit weird. So this thing can go four blocks. Well, let's try to put it four blocks away. Let's see, is it going to give one? It gives one. But when you place it next to it, it gives two. And when you place it one block away, it gives three. And three blocks away, it gives two. So there's no way to get four. Do I need to place it on top of it? No, it does two. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure how this thing's supposed to work. I do know that the probably the best way of getting power is to do it the same way as these. But that just gives six. That is ridiculously useless. Instead, I'm going to do the fire one. Fire mill. It still needs this, the helium bits. But this thing can actually do four. And I think it can do more power without losing anything. No, this thing does 200. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> this This is a little bit weird. Should be working a little bit better than that. So I guess uh, we're going to give up on this bit. Uh, for the moment, I kind of need to get rid of the lava. There we go. Alright. So... Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to wait for these things to finish. And they're probably going to take a lot of time. I'm going to st stand here with my BB gun. And I guess... Uh, I'll be back. Well, guys, I actually looked at the time, and I think it's been enough. Uh, the, the episode's getting a little bit long. So, in between episodes, I'm going to work on making the machine structures and all the blocks we need to continue into our quest of making these things over here. I will also move uh, this machine to the top, because this is where it needs to be, with the other machines of this kind. I think I might want to do a little, like, contour for this thing, just so it looks nice and everything. Does it hurt? No, okay. <laughs> I hope I didn't die if I did that. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.